on the 9 a.m. observations at Wilmington, it was sunny. The temperature was 83 degrees. The dew point was 75, giving a relative humidity of 77%. The wind was northwest at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.10 inches in rising. Here are the weather conditions around the Carolinas. At Myrtle Beach, it was sunny, with a temperature of 84. It was mostly sunny, with a temperature of 80 at Elizabethtown and 82 at Jacksonville. At Whiteville, it was partly sunny, with a temperature of 81. The latest morning observations within the last two hours, as of 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At Diamond Shoals Buoy, the wind was southeast to two knots, the wave height three feet, wave period six seconds. At Cape Lookout, the wind was southwest at four knots. At Mason Borough in the near shore buoy, the wind was west at eight knots. At Wrightsville Beach Five Mile Buoy, the wave high two feet, wave period five seconds. The water temperature was 83 degrees. At Mason Borough in the offshore buoy, the wind was northeast at four knots. At Frying Pan Shoals Buoy, the winds were southwest at 14 knots. The air temperature was 83, and the sea water temperature was 84. At Edisto Buoy, the wind was west at 12 knots. Wave high 3 feet, wave period 8 seconds. Hot temperatures can be expected the next several days as an upper ridge amplifies over the region. Isolated thunderstorms may result from the strong heating. A cold front will remain stalled north of the area this weekend through early next week. And now taking a look at the forecast for the Cape Fear region, issued at 9.34 a.m. Heat advisory in effect until 7 p.m. this evening. Today, mostly sunny late this morning, then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Highs in the mid-90s. West winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming southwest this afternoon. Chance of rain 30%. Heat index values up to 106. Tonight, partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, then mostly clear after midnight. Humid with lows in the upper 70s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Heat index values up to 104 early in the evening. Thursday, mostly sunny in the morning, then partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Humid with highs in the upper 90s. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Heat index values up to 108. Thursday night, mostly clear in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Humid with lows around 80. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 20%. Heat index values up to 103 early in the evening. Friday, partly cloudy with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Humid with highs in the mid-90s. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Heat index values up to 106. Friday night, partly cloudy with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 70s. Chance of rain 30%. Heat index values up to 100 early in the evening. Saturday and Saturday night, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s, lows in the upper 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Heat index values up to 100. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Chance of rain 40%. Heat index values up to 100. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 90. Chance of rain 40%. Heat index values up to 100 in the afternoon. Monday night, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, partly cloudy in the morning, then becoming mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 90. Chance of rain 40%. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards, station KHP 31. This transmitter serves the Cape Fear area broadcasting at a frequency of 162.550 MHz from Winnebo, North Carolina. For detailed weather information for your location, including extended forecasts and additional observations, visit the National Weather Service, Wilmington's, website at www.weather.gov slash I L M.
The coastal waters forecast for the following. Coastal waters from Surf City to Cape Fear, North Carolina, 20 nautical miles. Issued at 9.35 a.m. Rest of today. West winds 10 knots, becoming south 10 to 15 knots late. Seas 2 to 3 feet. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Tonight, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 feet. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Thursday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 3 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 3 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. The coastal waters forecast for the following. Coastal waters from Cape Fear, North Carolina to Little River Inlet, South Carolina, 20 nautical miles. Issued at 9.35 a.m. Rest of today. West winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest 10 knots early this afternoon, then increasing to 10 to 15 knots late. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Tonight, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 feet. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Thursday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Thursday night, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 2 to 4 feet, building to 3 to 4 feet after midnight. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Friday night, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher in and near thunderstorms. The offshore waters forecast for the following. Cape Hatteras to Cape Fear from 20 nautical miles to 100 nautical miles offshore. Issued at 4.56 a.m. Today, west to southwest winds less than 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Tonight, west to southwest winds 5 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Thursday, west to southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Thursday night, southwest winds 10 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Friday, southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet. Friday night, southwest winds 10 to 20 knots. Seas 4 to 5 feet. Saturday, southwest winds 10 to 20 knots. Becoming west to southwest 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet. Saturday night, southwest winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet. Sunday, southwest winds 5 to 15 knots, becoming 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 4 feet. Sunday night, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. The next four tides of tried Stone Beach will be a low tide at 9.09 a.m., a high tide at 3.19 p.m., a low tide at 9.45 p.m., and high tide at 3.21 a.m. on Thursday. The beach water temperature at Johnny Mercer's Pier is 84 degrees. Today's surf forecast for the beaches of the Cape Fear area. There is low risk of rip currents for the beaches of Center, New Hanover, and Brunswick counties. Remember that rip currents are always possible, especially around low tide and near jetties and piers. The surf will be around 2 feet. The winds will be southwest at around 10 miles per hour. The ultraviolet index at noon indicates an extreme risk of harm from unprotected sun exposure. The lightning risk is low. This implies that there is little chance of thunderstorms. The water spout risk is low. Atmospheric conditions do not support the formation of water spouts. Also, along the Pender and New Hanover County beaches, there will be a moderate south to north longshore current. Also, along the Brunswick County beaches, there will be a moderate west to east longshore current. The tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. 
tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next five days. This morning's river summary. On the Cape Fear River, at William O. Husk Rock and Dam, the flood stage is 42 feet. The 7 a.m. stage is 34.98 feet. The river level has increased 0 0.10 feet in the past 24 hours. At Elizabethtown, the flood stage is 25 feet. The 7 a.m. stage is not available. At Cape Fear Lock and Dam, the flood stage is 24 feet. The 7 a.m. stage is 16.69 feet. The river level has increased 0.18 feet in the past 24 hours. On the northeast Cape Fear River, at Chinkapin, the flood stage is 13 feet. The 7 a.m. stage is 4.41 feet. In the past 24 hours, the river level has fallen 0.33 feet. At Bergala, the flood stage is 10 feet. The 7 a.m. stage is 2.60 feet. In the past 24 hours, the river level has fallen 0.34 feet. On the Black River, four miles northeast of Tomahawk, the 7 a.m. stage is 7.09 feet. In the past 24 hours, the river level has fallen 0.04 feet. On the Lumber River, at Lumberton, the flood stage is 13 feet. The 7 a.m. stage is not available. At Boardman, the 7 a.m. stage is 4.90 feet. In the past 24 hours, the river level has fallen 0.10 feet. The following messages for the following counties in North Carolina. Raven, Coastal Brunswick, Coastal New Hanover, Coastal Center, Columbus, Inland Brunswick, Inland New Hanover and Inland Pember. Heat advisory remains in effect from noon to date at 7 p.m. this evening. Heat index values 105 to 108. Timing, this afternoon to early evening. Impacts, the combination of hot temperatures and high humidity will create a situation in which heat illnesses are possible. If you suspect someone having a heat stroke, call 911 immediately. To reduce the risk of heat illness during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments and to drink plenty of non-alcoholic fluids. Never leave children or pets unattended in a closed-up vehicle. In just 15 minutes, temperatures inside the vehicle could easily surpass 140 degrees. Outdoor livestock and pets will need plenty of shade, a well-ventilated environment, and plenty of available fresh water.